bright lights on a cold night in Leicester Square, beautiful people wearing next to nothing and celebs doing what they do best. I'm always up for a freebie. But this is no ordinary film premiere. In fact, it's not a film premiere at all. It's all for a video game. It is quite simply the biggest video game launch ever. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is set to break box office records set by films like The Dark Knight and Pirates of the Caribbean. More than enough to earn its very own Leicester Square premiere. It's crazy to have a movie premiere for a video game, but yeah, rock on, it's better. It's just massive. I mean, who'd have thought that we're on Leicester Square, we're at the View Cinema for the launch of a, of a, of a game. You know, it's really surreal. It just shows you what a following this game has, all the people that are here. I mean, it's massive. It really is massive. If you still think this is all a bit odd, look at the numbers. Modern Warfare 2 sales are set to smash the £100 million mark in the game's opening weekend, while its closest movie rival, The Dark Knight, took in around £95 million. Far from being the preserve of spotty geeks and sun-starved freaks, mainstream gaming is here to stay. While every launch might not get quite this reception, tonight was a vindication for gamers worldwide and a chance for the fastest growing entertainment industry to enjoy its success. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's great to get that recognition now and to, to realise how many people are actually playing video games and that it is enjoyed by so many people around the world. So it's on a massive scale. The most anticipated video game in recent history, Modern Warfare 2 is a controversial title, not least for pushing up the price of a copy by around £10. But when gaming retailers open up at midnight tonight, especially for the game's release, it seems there'll be no shortage of fans desperate to get hold of the game. Your 